This year when we went to Comic Con, we met Deadpool. Lucky we saw him when we did because then he had to go off and play with his friends. Last year we saw a Wookiee. Mm -hmm. And this lady. Hey, is that a sword in your pocket or are you just pleased to see me? There you go, dad joke, done. Okay. Today I'm going to introduce you to Miles. He did some amazing graphic art for us. We met him at Comic Con and he's going to step you through the five stage process of how he did this art for us. And you'll be able to get some done for your own channel. How about that? Okay, cool. Righto, Miles. Um, look, thanks for coming on today. And uh, I just want to run through uh, quickly with the new logo that you did for us on uh, Stupid Fast RC and also another one for Tom. Um, yeah. So there were a few different steps to this process. Um, you got five, five different steps. Uh, run us through it, Miles. Well, the first step is like a basic sketch, kind of a composition that I can work on to uh, create the final artwork. It's really, uh, it's, it's fairly rough and um, I don't use a lot of what they call layers to kind of um, control the digital image that I'm working on. Um, from there, I create the uh, inking and I basically go over the top of the sketching with um, almost like a, like a black marker um, and give it its sort of def definition that I can easily color into. Um, the next step is what I call flats. That's just laying down flat colors. So there's no real dimension to it. It's just picking out the um, the colors that I want, and then from there I can um, add to it and um, get started on the shading, which is the next step. Now the style itself, uh, I believe, is called cell shaded. Um, I'm not really sure what the origin of that means exactly, but um, basically it's just kind of darkening specific areas where a general shadow would reside. Um, in, in this step, uh, you might also see on the wheels of the uh, of the car. I've also kind of given it sort of like a like a uh, speed effect, like the wheels are turning. Um, so there are some kind of like liberties that I sort of take with shading, um, but most of all, it's basically just to give it give the image a lot of dimension. And then once that's done, I basically just touch it up and include highlights, so um, sort of like glow to, um, to, to the hair, where light um, kind of really reflects off it. Um, I also included some graphics on the car, kind of gave it a bit of a half-tone effect. And um, so there's um, some other things that I do. Uh, instead of inking, say, the springs on the suspension, um, I instead lay down sort of its own color to really make it pop out from the image. And I also include stuff like uh, decals, like the um, Stupid Fast RC logo along the side of the car and everything as well. Fantastic. All right. Now, um, if anyone else wants to get this work done, how's the best way to contact you, Miles? Uh, that'd probably be by my email, uh, Miles Hanson. Or oh, actually, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's miles.hanson.team at gmail.com and team is spelled T-H-I-I-M otherwise you can check out my work at lunapocalypse.tumblr.com uh, awesome thanks for your help Miles and uh, I hope uh, lots of you guys out there decide to do this as well it was an awesome uh, bit of graphic artwork for us and uh, it's really helped to lift our channel and uh, set us apart from everyone else mm, it was a lot of fun cool alright yeah. thanks mate cheers alright so have a good one now don't forget to subscribe and like because I'm watching you. Yes, up next on Stupid Fast RC is mini camera drones. They're small, they're mini, and they're drones. Hence the name, right? Yeah, I know, it all makes sense. <laughs>